Hello, back with another pick a card reading. Check out the stones and pick the one that resonates with you. Pile number one, or stone number one. Stone or pile number two. Stone or pile numero tres. Stone number one. Secrets about your current lover or your love life or where this is headed. So you got the Hierophant, the Magician, the High Priestess, Happily Ever After. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ha-ha! <laughs> Bow chicka wow wow and you are profoundly clairvoyant so you probably already know where this is going without these cards telling you however since you just must inquire about your love affair this is what I think I think that you guys are the perfect match just a second Yes, you guys look like the perfect match. You look like somebody who, um, if you got, it doesn't matter if you're male, female, female, male, 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 female, female, does not matter. The energy is universal. This could be for anybody. If you picked this, this one, this is probably for you. If not, pick another pile and try again. But... The High Priestess is someone who's secretive, who's, she is the one, they call her she who knows. Because this is somebody that is highly spiritual. This person is intuitive. And this person might be psychic. Are connected to the spiritual realm in a way that she sees straight through things. She just, she knows stuff. And with your lover being the magician, or vice versa, however it works out, the magician is someone who, he, he has everything that he needs, first of all. He has everything that he needs to make anything work. He can have whoever he wants. He can do whatever he wants. He can go wherever he wants because he holds the keys to magic. This is also a highly spiritual person connected to spirituality, connected um, to the universe. Someone who is guided. And as you see the, the um, infinity symbol, somebody told me that this is also a symbol that represents twin flame. I don't know how, I should have asked, and I will get back at you guys and let you know why. She said that. However, um, this person might be not religious, but spiritual. He holds up the symbols for as above, so below. As, as on earth, so it is in heaven. Um... Yeah, what? Okay, anyways. Okay, so, yeah, it's just looking like a, a perfect match. You guys are both spiritual in nature. You guys both know a lot. You guys both hold the keys of magic. <sighs> she's magic because she knows everything. Nobody has to tell her. She sees straight through people, straight through situations. But him, he could be a trickster. He could be highly manipulative. She can too. She can be a master manipulator because she knows. She already knows what to say. She knows what to do. And so do he. They both are master manifestors. So you guys both probably have manifested each other. If you haven't met yet or got together yet, but you're manifesting true love into your life, this person that you're going to get with has also been manifesting true love into his life or her life. And with the Hierophant here, there's no way around marriage. You guys possess the same values. And when I say marriage, I don't even mean legally, legal papers. I mean union. 
because not all people want to go to a courthouse and give up their information and get married. However, the Hierophant suggests union, the high possibility of union, that there's no way around this being a coupled pair of people. And that's why you guys are going to definitely have a happily ever after the end. But wait a minute. Before we get to the end, you two are profoundly clairvoyant because he is the magician and you are the high priestess. She who knows and he who can make things happen. Trust what you see in your mind's eye, your third eye, as well as with your physical sight for your spirit. Spiritual vision helps you with healing, teaching, and guidance. Your lover wants you to know that I am as gentle, caring, loving, kind, and romantic as you are. I will not overburden you. I wish to provide to you balance and happiness. Z end. Well, group number one, enjoy your love affair. Hopefully it is already in the 3D, the now, the present. If not, it is popping in 5D. Keep on manifesting true love because your lover is coming. And as you manifest him or her, him or her is manifesting you. Bye, group number one. See you later. Okay, group number two. I think this was number one. I don't know. Y'all know better than I do. Y'all know I'm kind of crazy. I think this was for group number two, but you will remember because um, it was the only one with the purple card. So pile number two. Grupio numero dos. Okay. So from the looks of things, yo lover, this is the secrets about your love affair and where this might possibly be going. Your lover is a juggler, and I think that you felt this way. This, this, if you haven't felt it yet, this is what's coming, possibly. Your lover is somebody that is going to juggle, okay? This person is going to have you feeling jealous. This person is going to have their eyes on other people, and you're going to feel it. So, this is what it is, okay? This, this person is loved, liked, respected, honored, wanted by many people, right? Now, if you pay close attention to the picture... This person has two people interested in his little magic tricks. He pulling people on a string like some puppets. The scales are not really balanced. He is looking at one person and giving more attention to one person than to the other person. He's got three pentacles over here and a fourth one is coming. This person only gets two pentacles, and he's not even looking at that person. The picture could have been different. He could have been looking straight ahead. They could have been the same amount of pentacles on both sides, and it could have been one person. But no, this is what it is. He's giving more attention to one person, and he's feeding, he's feeding more this family member. Can you guys close the door? Thank you. Sorry, guys. This all day. Okay, so yeah, he's giving more attention to one person than the other. And that is what makes me think that he is juggling two families, two love affairs, two lovers, two children, whatever. He's a juggler. And with the three of cups, it lets me, it makes me feel like it's going to be or it is a third party situation. It will not just be you and this lover. And to back it up, I pulled this card that this is the message from your lover. This person feels like they are trapped in karma and caged in commitments because instead of him or her just loving you, this fool chose to help everybody, feed everybody, love everybody. And that's kind of an impossible thing when you're one person. You need to focus on one person or one situation. Unless you have multiple children, then you and your one person is a team. And as a team, you guys can spread the love and wealth amongst different people. I mean, different children. Even if you and your partner 
are not the parents of those children. Like if you got with a man who had three kids, but he's choosing you, he's not dealing with those three mothers. You as his woman and his lover are gonna help him love those three children even though they are not your own. So and when a man has more than one child, but he has one woman he's choosing, that's okay. That's not struggle love. That's a balance juggle. That's an act that we can keep up together. Because I love kids. Bring all your illegitimate kids to me. Bring them to my house. I'm going to comb their hair. I'm going to cook them brownies and, and feed them and love on them and hug them and take them places. And they're going to be mine when they're with me and you. And when they go back with their mothers, that's what they do. However... That's not what this is. This is showing a person that's juggling in his love life. And so because he feels like he's trapped in karma, spirit is urging you to listen to your intuitive feelings. If you feel that this person is not giving you their all, that's what it is. If you felt like this person is juggling or dealing with somebody else, that's what it is. If you feel this person is putting work before you, friends and family before you, that's what it is. This is confirmation. This is not made up. Listen to your intuitive feelings. Your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine. And the divine is urging you to raise your standards. That's what it is for group number two. I love you. He or she probably loves you too, but they don't love themselves enough to choose what's right and what's best for them. So if you need to chuck up them deuces, then say peace. If you want to put up with it or have the conversation and try to go for it, have the conversation and go for it. Whatever you do, make sure you raise your standards because when this, this will end, when it does end, raise your standards and don't don't ever choose anybody that resembles this person or their situation again i'm just keeping it 100 i love you and so does the universal spirit that is god see you next time group number three or stone number three ain't that pretty and look it matches get one of your cards so this is secrets about your love life or about your love affair, information, things that might that you might not have tripped on, things that you might not know, something you might be dying to know. For you, your lover is being divinely guided toward you. Um, but in your lover's mind, they're coming towards you because of sexuality. This is how they see you. They see straight through your clothes and they see the shape of your body. They see what you have and they want what you have. This is a sexual, passionate love affair. This is not going to be something that's dry and boring. This is going to be hot and wet. Um, And this person probably had... Well, not probably. This person has a choice between lovers. But that's why I say divinely guided because this angel is keeping them focused on you. Focused in a way that they can't figure out why they're so determined to stay with you, to go towards you, to follow you, to be with you. Your lover probably thinks that like, okay, am I going crazy? Because all I could think about is this person. That's all that I want. This is all that I know. I don't care what nobody say. I'm fighting it off. I'm, I know that I'm going to be victorious. I'm going after this person. I don't care. I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I'm fighting. And I have faith that I'm going to be in this love affair so much faith that the person will leave at any time day or night leave walk away from any situation to go after yo ass this person loves you and they're being guided towards you the message that i pull for them is you are being guided by the heavenly father so this is something that the universe has conspired has put together for you are for your lover. You are what's best for this person. This person is what's best for you as of right now. Um, and the universe is saying to you and your lover, follow your inner wisdom. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. So again, where this person has a choice, this person is fighting everything that comes against you. And this person is coming towards you. 
no matter what the situation is, no matter how many times you guys fight, argue, break up, he's coming back to you or she's coming back to you. It's very passionate, very fiery. This person could be a fire sign or you could have fire in your chart. But that's what it is, group number three. Your person loves you. They're being guided to be with you. And you guys are going to have a hot, fiery, passionate, very sexual, beautiful, loving relationship. You're going to feel loved by this person. If they're not with you yet, they are coming. They are coming. They are going to come. <laughs> Sorry, it always got to be some kind of dance. Our song or a hey. okay bye thank you for coming to play cards with me see you later